So here it is, man. Fight weekend. Can't wait. Kell Brook versus Errol Spence. UK versus the USA. You can't get no better than that, man. And the reason why I say this is because you have a young up and coming talent that everybody's been talking about for the longest. Errol Spence. This guy has been the, the talk of the town since Floyd Mayweather came out and said that this guy gave him problems in sparring. So <clears throat> Errol Spence has since then gotten in the ring and dispatched all of his competition. Nobody's been on his level. He um, has been able to put guys away using vicious body shots, been able to put guys away using pure skill and precision. His punching percentage is extremely high. The dude cannot fail in the ring. So far, so good. Now we have Kell Brook dominating. The only guy who's been able to stop him is Triple G, a bigger man. Triple G happened to be more durable, and he was in a different weight class, and that's what caused Kell Brook to be finished in the end. At the end of the day, he still lost, so he has a loss on his record. But that doesn't stop people from believing that he's still one of the elite talents, like uh, Canelo versus Floyd Mayweather. When he fought Floyd Mayweather, he was undefeated. He was the younger guy in age, and of course, Floyd's skill level um, outdid Canelo that night. So since then, he's rose to the occasion of being one of the elite talents in boxing. And that's the same as Kell Brook. So you can't take away anything from Kell Brook for losing that fight against Triple G because he fought he fought the better man all the way around. Um, at the end of the day, he still gave him problems. He exposed a lot of weaknesses and a lot of errors in Triple G's uh strategy and his ability to get in the ring and finish guys he wasn't able to truly put Kell Brook away um the way that he's done other guys other than his eye socket being um messed up broken whatever you want to say happened to him um at that time so that could have happened over a course of many fights but that just goes to show how strong this guy was um when he fought when he fought Triple G um how strong Triple G was so at the end of the day, man, we have two guys, uh, one guy who has uh, stepped up to the challenge and faced uh, Errol Spence. I wish he would have called Errol Spence out a while back. Um, it would have made for, to me, for a better fight because we wouldn't have had to deal with hearing, oh, well, he just took this guy because he was his mandatory. And um, that's pretty much what um, Errol Spence camp is saying that, you know, he only did it because he had to and he didn't want to relinquish his belt and look like a punk, you know, like what Canelo did and all of that. But we all know that was a business move, if you know, boxing. And I already put all of that stuff in another video. You can go and check it out later. But um, at the end of the day, man, this is what both fighters have to do in order to win. And I'm also going to give you my pick. First of all, Kell Brook, man, let's go with him. He's a champion. He's not challenging. He's fighting on his home turf. He has a crowd behind him, um, he, but yet he's seen as the underdog in this fight. So we're going to tell you why. You know, I'm going to tell you why this guy's considered the underdog. First of all, Kell Brook um, beat a Sean Porter. He, he's he's fought some, some tough guys, but he hasn't really been in there with a talent like this, a guy that's younger. You know, he's headed towards his his prime years in a few years. And, you know, I think that um, this guy is going to be a star in the, in the sport of boxing. We all know we all know what Errol Spence is capable of. Um, he's been putting guys away left and right with no problem. He has not only just put them away, it's how he does it. And he's beating these guys down to the body. So <clears throat> and using pure skill. And he's gotten a nod from one of the great all-time fighters in Floyd Mayweather. So this is an extremely important fight for Kell Brook, man, because this guy is coming to take all of what you have away from you in your hometown, in your building, around your fans. So you 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 have to give him respect for even taking this fight. You know, of course, he was ordered to, but he could have easily just dodged it gave up his belt, and moved on to the next weight class. But he's taking it on. So let's give him some respect, and let me tell you what he has to do. The jab is going to be extremely important in keeping Errol Spence off of him all night long. 
He's going to have to do it from the outside, though. He can't stand in front of uh, um, Errol Spence all night because Errol Spence is, is, is a high percentage puncher as far as being able to go to the body. And if Kell Brook's defense is not on that night, he's going to suffer. Um, so he's going to have to keep him off of him by utilizing that jab for most of the night. He's going to have to utilize great footwork, and that's to keep off the timing of Errol Spence. So he's going to have to do a lot of, a lot of uh, slick movements, upper body. He's going to have to move his upper body and his head, which he doesn't do a good job of really moving his head. But he can move his, his torso well and try to get around some of those punches that uh, Errol Spence is going to be throwing, especially when he tries to attack up top. Um, he's going to have to be really, really quick. But what he does, um, as far as countering, he's going to have to look at those mistakes and he's going to have to try to pick Errol Spence apart. But he's going to have to do it when Errol Spence is in the midst of throwing his combinations. And that's going to be tough for him to do. Um, the only way that I can see him kind of getting away with some of the stuff that he wants to do is he's going to have to trick Errol Spence. Into um, and these are the traps that we always talk about in boxing. When you hear traps, he's gonna have to set traps. He's gonna have to be able to do it when he's near the ropes, and that's gonna draw Errol Spence in enough for him to um, to try to to try to get Errol Spence to open up. And when he does, he can counter the way that he wants to counter. So um, his footwork is gonna be extremely important in winning this fight, as well as the jab. And keeping Errol Spence off of him, but he needs to also draw him in so that he can get Errol Spence to open up because Spence is not a dumb fighter. He's extremely smart. He knows uh, what guys are trying to do in there. And when he finds, when he figures it out, he neutralizes it. And that's, that's the end of the fight for you. He's going to keep picking you apart. He's going to keep coming. Um, there's not many, many fighters, or shall I say, I haven't seen him in, in any of his fights get back down. Uh, by anybody he hasn't been walked down i haven't seen him go backwards at all so uh, it's going to be important for kelbrook to try to figure out how to keep this guy off of him and um, also be able to get off what he's trying to get off which is um, the counter shots and jabs you know uh, he has a solid uppercut he has sound, so, um, solid hooks that he can throw um, he's strong pretty much in both hands especially the right um, but his defense is going to have to be on point and his defense in this one is going to have to definitely be his footwork. Now, uh, Errol Spence, on the other hand, this guy is solid, well-rounded fighter, can punch strong in both hands, good jab, excuse me, strong uppercut, um, Pretty good footwork. He knows how to cut off the ring. He knows his way around the ring well. Um, throws throws hella counter shots. Body shots are a plus for him. That's, that's his money maker. So that's what he's going to be looking to do in this fight is to get those body shots off. So he's going to have to put himself in position, cut off the ring, and make sure that he neutralizes uh, Kell Brook's counter and jab attacks. He's going to have to go straight, straight in like he always does, and pick him apart, you know, by using the body attack. If Errol Spence can continue to do that and be precise at what he does, this fight is going to be is going to be won. It's going to be a tough fight, I believe, um, for both guys. I think that uh, they both have, have their work cut out for him in figuring out what to do. But I think at the end of the day, it's going to be Errol Spence. Because of the, the brutal body attack. He's going to go to the body and he's going to slow Kell Brook down. I see Kell Brook getting out of gas at about the sixth round. Maybe the sixth or the seventh. And um, leaning too much up against those ropes. And and uh, being, being forced to Errol Spence's left hand. And that's going to cause him some serious damage, man. So at the end of the day, I got Errol Spence winning by... Uh, unanimous or majority decision and that's my pick Errol Spence so anyway man get back at me let me know what you guys think um I could be wrong I don't mind being wrong but it is what it is man peace see y'all on fight night man